Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the United Arab Emirates President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on his country's 51st National Day. His Majesty wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness and the Emirati people further progress and prosperity under His Highness's leadership. His Majesty praised the developmental achievements witnessed by the United Arab Emirates in all fields and hailed the international recognition earned by the country. His Majesty the King praised the depth of the strong relations between the two countries and their development and growth in various fields. His Majesty the King affirmed keenness to further enhance the bilateral relations that were established by the ancestors of both countries in a way that meets the aspirations of both people and countries. His Majesty sent a similar cable to the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister, ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Majesty wished His Highness lasting good health and happiness on this national occasion. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's qualification to the round of 16 of the 2022 World Cup, finishing at the top of its group after beating Canada 2-1. In the cable, His Majesty the King hailed the Moroccan team's honorable performance, praising the players' technical talent and spirit of playing during the match and the global sporting event. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan team success in its upcoming matches and its football march. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the occasion of his country's qualification to the round of 16 of the 2022 World Cup after finishing top of its group and winning their final match. In the cable, His Royal Highness hailed the Moroccan team's honorable performance, praising the player's technical talent and spirit of play during the match and the global sporting event wishing the Moroccan team success in its upcoming matches. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Moroccan Crown Prince, Mawlai Hassan bin Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the occasion of his 51st anniversary of the UAE National Day. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the long-standing Bahrain-UAE relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Vice President, Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in swimming trials of the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship Bahrain, set to be held in the Kingdom on December the 9th. The trials held today in Arif Island, the same site of the swimming competition, with the participation of 100 swimmers. His Honor Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in taking part in the swimming trials, affirming that the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship Bahrain consolidates the tremendous efforts exerted by His Majesty, the King's personal representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to implement His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to make Bahrain a favorable destination for mega sports events. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad indicated that the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa have contributed to implementing many projects aimed at developing the sports sector.
The Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Bahrain Basketball Association signed an agreement with the International Basketball Federation under which Bahrain will host the Federation Midterm Congress and the Federation's Hall of Fame ceremony to honor basketball stars in 2025. The Bahrain Olympic Committee Deputy President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Federal International Basketball Association Secretary General Andreas Zakilis and the Bahrain Basketball Association President Walid Al Alawi signed the agreement. The Tourism Minister Fatma bin Jafar Al Sayrafi, Chief Executive Officer of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, and the BOC Secretary General Faris Al Kohaji attended the signing ceremony. The initiative by the Bahrain Olympic Committee will be held for the first time in Bahrain in 2025. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali expressed delight at the Kingdom's hosting of the historic event for the first time in the Kingdom, which embodies the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. It is also the fruitful outcome of the follow-up of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and that of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Youth and Sports General Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Tourism Minister affirmed the keenness by the Tourism Ministry and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority to put in place all the success requirements for the Kingdom's hosting of the Basketball Federation's Midterm Congress and the Hall of Fame in 2025 through effective and fruitful coordination with all the stakeholders. She affirmed the Kingdom's distinguished capabilities to host mega continental and global events thanks to its advanced facilities, geographical location and security. She added that the world event will contribute to ensuring the success of Bahrain Tourism Strategy 2022-2026 as sports tourism will attract the tourists and visitors to the Kingdom. The Federation of Basketball Association Secretary General expressed thanks and appreciation to the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the Bahrain Basketball Association, for signing the agreement that confirms that Bahrain is a partner to the Federation in achieving its goals, expressing confidence in the Kingdom's ability to ensure the success of the Midterm Congress of the Federation and the Hall of Fame ceremony. The Bahrain Basketball Association Chairman stressed the importance of the two world events, expressing thanks and gratitude to the Bahrain Olympic Committee, led by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, for its support to the Bahrain Basketball Association to reach the agreement, paying tribute to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali for the efforts he had exerted to reach the agreement. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, met with the Maldivian Minister of Tourism and Dr. Abdullah Masoum on the sideline of the World Travel and Tourism Council Global Summit in Riyadh, which was discussing the strengthening of the cooperation between the two friendly countries in the field of tourism. As Sayrafi affirmed the continuous progress of the bilateral relations at various levels and said that these efforts are in the interest of the tourism sector in both countries and gives the tourists more diversity in their trips. The United Arab Emirates celebrates its National Day on the 2nd of the December of each year, which is a milestone in the history of the country. This year's celebration of the 51st anniversary of the Union, which was initiated by the founder Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may Allah rest his soul in peace, who had an insightful vision that enabled him to establish a foundation that possessed all the elements of progress and prosperity for more than half a century. The UAE was able to attain numerous achievements during its developmental and civilized march, in which the United Arab Emirates solidified its elevated status internationally thanks to the vision of its wise leadership and its determination to move forward in achieving ambitious national strategies and goals. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, sent a cable of congratulations to the Speaker of the Federal National Council of the UAE, Sagar Ubash, on the 51st United Arab Emirates National Day. Zainal praised the distinguished relations and bilateral cooperation in all the fields. 
led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. She affirmed the Bahrain UAE partnership in the political, economic, security, social, cultural, and development fields. Zainal sent a similar cable to the UAE ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and wished the UAE leadership and people further progress and prosperity. The roads and buildings of the Kingdom of Bahrain were decorated with the United Arab Emirates flags in celebration of the 51st National Day. The celebration reflects the deep-rooted relations between the two countries at the level of the leaderships and people. This is also a reflection of the distinguished fraternal relations that bind the two brotherly countries and people. The United Arab Emirates President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, said the country's 51st National Day is a time to look to the future with hope, optimism, and confidence. Recall the lessons of the past and look at the present with awareness and contemplation. In a speech, the UAE President went on to assure that the country will remain a key partner and supporter of everything that brings about progress and development for humanity and enhances the world's ability to meet its challenges, foremost of which are climate change, food security, diseases, epidemics and poverty. Sheikh Mohammed also paid tribute to the late UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who passed away in May. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed said the UAE's past 50 years has seen the country through many stages in its triumphal journey from establishment to empowerment each stage with its goals facets and mechanisms of action he continued to say that taking care of the uae citizens and opening all avenues of development creativity self-affirmation before them has been and will always remain the country's top priority sheikh mohammed said during the next stage of the country's development the role of emirati women will be strengthened in all the fields the UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, affirmed that the UAE will proceed under the leadership of UAE's President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in implementing strategies, plans, policies and projects in all fields of comprehensive development. His Highness said in a speech he addressed through Dara Al Watan magazine on the occasion of the country's 51st Union Day, that the UAE welcomes a new federal year with confidence, optimism, ambition, and determination to attain new achievements and successes. He also pointed out that the UAE is also closely following global changes, monitoring their developments, and dealing with their effects in a manner that enhances its security, stability, and sustains its development, as well as interacting with its Gulf and Arab partners, along with its network of international relations.